Let's make a really fun Dollar Tree summer flip-flop wreath. You're gonna need some Mod Podge as well as one of the Dollar Tree mirrors like this one. A small wreath form, the green ones work great for this. And then you're gonna need some of this tissue paper, which I will link below. I love this floral and the Mackenzie Child's check. Then you're gonna want some greenery like this that I got from the Hobby Lobby. I also grabbed black flip-flops from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need four pair for this project. Like I mentioned, you're gonna want four pair of these black flip-flops. Just take all the tags off and that is all you need to prep these. I got them in size five, six and they ran out. So I also picked up a size seven and eight. Again, I will link this McKenzie Child's Check tissue paper below. I absolutely love this. I think it gives it like a really nice kind of expensive look. So I grabbed the flip-flops, put them on top of the stack of tissue paper and kind of decided which angle I wanted it to go in and traced it with a pencil. Now you can use a pen, you can do this one at a time, but I'm kind of a lazy crafter. So I like to just cut all those pieces at once. Now be forewarned, I didn't think about the fact that these flip-flops go different directions. There's a right foot and a left foot. So ultimately I did have to go back and cut another um, pattern out. Um, you will need a left foot and a right foot. They do vary just ever so slightly. But I cut out the, the foot part pattern of this tissue paper for decoupaging onto the flip-flops. Now I want to make sure that you know that you need to flip the flip-flop over and mark on the back where the three little thong things are and you're going to cut at a diagonal the um, tissue paper in order to make a way for the um, thong part to fit into the tissue paper if that makes sense so let me show you what i mean first you're going to take your mod podge you're going to add it to the base of the flip-flop and just be very generous with it. You're not gonna use too little or too much, just it's, you really can't mess this part up. It's okay if it gets a little bit on the thong part as well. Um, it's gonna dry clear anyway. So I just placed the tissue paper over and I kind of worked it through the thong parts on all three of the sections that were gonna need to be cut. And then you're gonna kind of flatten that out as best you can with your fingers. It does not have to be perfect. Trust me, I spent a long time trying to get this just right and ju only to learn that it did not matter. Now, once you have this part done, you're gonna flip it over and trim any excess tissue that's hanging over the edges just to kind of give it a clean um, finished look. Now you're gonna take a second coat of Mod Podge over the tissue paper, just to kind of adhere uh, it a little better, as well as give it kind of a, a seal at the, at the top, especially if you're gonna put this outside. I wouldn't necessarily put it in the weather, but you could definitely let it be outside. Now I repeated the exact same thing with my other tissue paper, the floral tissue paper. And again, I did learn my lesson and I figured out I would, I would need to cut a left and a right foot out um, pattern wise for this tissue as well. I love this tissue. Now, again, I flipped it over and I decided to start just kind of pressing down on those little dots on the back and it gave me what I needed for a pattern to follow for cutting out the, the creases. Now I'm showing you a little bit closer up here what how that process works. Just kind of feed it through that thong part with the, the cuts that you've made at a diagonal and it fits perfectly onto the flip-flop. Now, I love that this is kind of a darker tissue paper on these black flip-flops because it's so forgiving. You you just, you cannot see where, it's just seamless. You can't see where it starts and where it ends. It's, it's awesome. So you just put that top coat on for the same, same process as the checks. Now, after all of them were done, I took this Gilder's Paste Wax in the color gold and I decided to kind of highlight the thong portion of the flip-flops. Um, just kind of take your finger and kind of rub and buff it on there. You could use rub and buff. I'm gonna link this product below though because I absolutely love it and I've used it on multiple projects. So I'm gonna do this little rubbing the gold on technique to all of the thongs just to kind of give it an extra 
I don't know, something, something special to kind of make it pop and bring out the gold in the other parts of this wreath. Now, once you have this done to all eight flip-flops, you're going to grab that ring and you're going to glue the first four thongs on. And I went like top to bottom, side to side. So if you're looking at a clock, it's going to be 12 and six and then 10 and two. And once you get those flip-flops onto your wreath, you can fill in with the others, which are gonna be your florals. Now, you may have different patterns and you may have different tissue. You may um, decide to do a completely different variety, but I absolutely loved how these turned out and I love the alternating patterns. Now, once you have these glued on, they're gonna kinda set, um, they kinda like, I can't explain it, they, they kinda wanna flop <laughs> they're flip-flops so they kind of want to flop over on the side so I'll kind of show you here in a minute what I do to fix that but just go ahead and put a generous layer of hot glue on you see how they want to kind of flop right off and then once I have kind of just a base of hot glue on them and they're kind of just till tack I just flip the whole thing over and I put a clear plate from the Dollar Tree on it this is a great weight to keep it to um, till it dries and then I'm gonna put the greenery on. So I just took wire cutters and separated this fern-like spray from Hobby Lobby and hot glued it right there in between each of the flip-flops. Now, ultimately, I ended up adding a little more than this one spray. I doubled it up because I decided at the end of the day that this wasn't enough of a spray. Even when I spread it out, I, didn't, I wasn't happy with it. So I added a second layer of it. Now, as you see, um, I'm just kind of using that little embossy, emboss, embossing tool to really kind of get that worked into the edges of the, the flip flop. And just again, you have to let that dry. Now I'm gonna add this mirror from the Dollar Tree and I just put again, another generous layer of hot glue. And then I'm going to um, flip this over again, put the plate back on it and let it dry again thoroughly. That will help um, give it the weight that it needs to dry. Now, once it was dry, I flipped it back over. I added this little piece of tissue paper to the mirror because I didn't want the mirror part to show through. I grabbed this little um, kind of wooden flower from the Hobby Lobby again, and I decided to glue that on front of the mirror. Now, you could have just gone with the mirror, but I loved the look that this little red flower pop gave this wreath. I thought it was the perfect centerpiece, um, but you can definitely use whatever you like. Now, I am in love with the way that this wreath turned out. Look at how it looks on my front door. It's so different from anything I've seen out there. I'm loving the pops of gold on the thong part of the flip-flops. I'm loving the fern greenery and really just overall the colors. It's kind of a spring floral look with the Mackenzie Child's Buffalo Check. If you love this, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.